Hello folks, welcome to Minute Math, where we solve one problem in one minute. Today we're going to derive the wave equation in under one minute. The first step is to draw a wave, no surprise there. Then we're going to draw two vectors which represent the tension force acting on the wave. Let's go ahead and zoom in into one part of the wave. So for example, at a certain position x and a time t, the amplitude of the wave would be u of x comma t. If we analyze a zoomed in section of the wave, we can see how the wave behaves. The slope of the wave is just its partial derivative with respect to x. So we construct a triangle with a vertical side length of u sub x and a horizontal side length of unity. And the hypotenuse of that hypo uh, right triangle is going to be the square root of ux squared plus one via Pythagorean theorem. So now we can employ that to our benefit. Let's go ahead and decompose those vectors, those ten tension vectors, into their horizontal components, t sub x, and their vertical components, t sub y. What is t sub x going to be? Well, it's simply going to be t cosine theta. But what's cosine theta? Cosine theta is simply 1 over the square root of ux squared plus 1. And now we have that t sub x is equal to t over the square root of u sub x squared plus 1. Now we can repeat the same thing with t sub y. We find that t sub y is t times u sub x over square root of u sub x squared plus 1. Now we can use something known as the Fourier series to decompose the square root of u x squared plus 1 and approximate it to the first order as just 1. And so that simplifies our expressions greatly. Now we can simply use Newton's second law, which is F equals ma. In this case, F is equal to simply the vertical forces, since there's no horizontal stretching, and so we assume that the horizontal forces simply add up to zero. So that gives us the following equation for F equals ma. We simplified that. M is represented by rho, the density, times some unit length dx integrated over the entire string, times the acceleration of the wire, u sub tt. So now, there's a little typo there, that should be tt, uh, but anyway, now we have that, and we can go ahead and solve for the wave equation. So the wave equation, after a couple of math equations and a little algebra, it gives us the following equation for the wave. A wave equation is u sub tt is equal to c squared u sub xx, where c is equal to the square root of t, the tension over rho, the density. Thank you for watching this episode of Minute Maths. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one.